Uh, welcome to Freelance Business Month. My name is Anastasia, and today we're going to talk about how to build a content strategy for your business needs. You can uh, ask your questions in the chat, and I will answer them after my presentation. So let's get into that. In my short workshop, I would like to talk to people uh, in charge of content marketing um, in the bigger corporations or also in small NGOs or people who uh, want to develop their personal brand because we want to talk about the notions and a logic behind marketing and content marketing for these different needs that you might face in your career or in your specific company. When I started working in the field, it became pretty quickly very clear for me that everything I learned in school about communications was outdated. I began uh, working in a startup environment which was very, very dynamic and the history of communication didn't really work um, in the that um, situation. It was just not... Um, <laughs> making any sense. So why am I even talking to you about content marketing today? My name is Anastasia and uh, six years ago I left my home country Ukraine for Italy. Uh, it was pretty logical. I studied Italian at the university um, as my first language and continuing my studies in Italy made a lot of sense. I studied communications as my second bachelor. And uh, because I needed to work and I needed to provide for myself, I started working in that same exact field that I was studying. Uh, and it was pretty obvious that everything I studied was not applicable in the, um, in the actual work. Um, I started working in uh, the startup environment and I did lots of projects as a volunteer. And I was doing so much research because I just could not figure out what I was supposed to do. I was studying as I was going and I would uh, make lots of research and print it out and put it in my uh, color coded folders by topics, storytelling, social media, email marketing, uh, tone of voice. Everything was put in the, in this little folder and I would, um, explore new things and do more research and put things in the folder, explore research and put it in the folder. And I was not only studying it, I would also implement it immediately in my work. And everything was tested and checked. And if it made sense, it would be stored in my, in my brain as a strategy. And I would start putting out uh, the... Um, the ideas that I got from the uh, from my work and it slowly started being very clear what was I was supposed to do. Uh, I was also learning a lot about the uh, audiences that I was working with and I was doing so much research also in to who they are, what are they interested in, where are they coming from, where are they going online or offline to get their information on this topic. Um, for example, when I eventually moved to Belgium, and that's uh, probably <laughs> a question for another day, how that happened, I started working in this very dynamic uh, startup incubator with so many uh, ambitious people, and it was very fast paced, so I had to learn very quickly. We, uh, with my colleagues, we were, uh, filling up my color-coded folder once more with the things that we were doing together and that we were exploring together. Um, what about the newsletter? What is the best practice there? Why should we uh, choose this social media over the other for our specific needs? Why, if I want to make uh, an Instagram page, why wouldn't it work for the people who would uh, get this specific product uh, on the market? As I was going... Um, with my career in marketing, I learned uh, from the greatest, and here I will be deliberately quoting and interpreting my uh, icon, Seth Godin. Marketing is about serving the client. Marketing is about 
providing the most value to the people that are paying you and that are to pay you yet. Marketing is not about selling stuff. It is very important to start shifting your mind if you're not yet there uh, because everything we do in a company, in the organization, as a person, everything is marketing. Let me explain that. Marketing is not only social media and our external communication, our newsletters and um, our blog articles, our website, how it is organized, our branding, our events. Marketing is how our customer support is talking to our clients. Marketing is how our team members are feeling in the company. Marketing is also how our sales managers pitch the ideas and how they face the questions, how they talk to the clients and leads. Marketing is everything. Everything we do in a company, for the company, and sometimes even outside of the company when we are talking about it. And from this notion, content strategy starts being um, a bit different. We need to pay a lot of attention to how we serve the people that are generous enough to give the time to us. So let's talk strategy now. Content marketing can be and should be a great part of our uh, business strategy in general because it can work so well to help us um, alleviate the pains of the customers or highlight our team uh, to recruit more talent. Or it can establish us as the experts in our field with our case studies. Um, and today, unfortunately, I will not have enough time to walk you through different formats and what they're for and how they could be used. Um, I will give you my framework, the thing that I established for myself years ago, working on marketing strategies and content marketing strategies for my clients and employers. And you can take it, you can leave it. It works well, it's been given great results. And uh, you can give it a try, as we said, test and repeat. Maybe something will not work for you. Maybe it's, it is very clear for you what I'm saying. And we can just clarify a couple of moments together. After I left this startup environment in Belgium, uh, I was in, employed to work uh, at the Bulletin, the leading English language platform for foreigners and internationals living in Belgium. Uh, my task was to identify uh, what was not working anymore for such a big uh, platform. This uh, publication has been a huge help even for me, before I started working for, uh, for it, um, it, it was an insanely big library of uh, different useful content and uh, videos and articles and guidelines for people living uh, in Belgium. I was given some um, materials. I was given the analytics. I had had my hands on everything that I needed. And that's where I took out my color coded folder and started digging. I researched the competitors. I got everything I needed to know about what they do on social media, what's their tone of voice, what's their um, communication style, what they're talking about, what they're not talking about, how they do that. I was um, I used some tools to identify very approximately what kind of outreach they have, what back in the day I could also see their Facebook ads when Facebook was still allowing that. So I could get the idea of how, why, and what they communicate to their readers. The next step was to analyze our own communication. I uh, digged uh, through all of the Google Analytics and I uh, researched our audience and I um, checked our social media communication, newsletters, and how we were talking to the audience, what was our tone of voice, how it was perceived. Uh, the differences started emerging already. I saw um, what 
could be used in the strategy. I was not yet crafting the strategy. Everything needed to be researched first. The third step was to see the actual industry benchmarks. Uh, what was normally used by the bigger companies, uh, bigger publications, what was working for them, how it was perceived, what was their tone of voice in a similar situation. And my folder was uh, filling up very quickly. It is crucial to understand what you're dealing with before you even start thinking of TikTok as a new go-to platform. The framework that I use is pretty clear and logical and it helps me create uh, new ideas and also revamp the existing content strategy and not only create a new one from scratch. So let's recap. So first, identify the problem. What is the result that you're trying to achieve with your content strategy? Do you want to attract more people in your team? Do you want to bring people on the website so they can check out the products? Or is it about building your brand identity? All of these answers will have a different impact on the strategy that you're creating. Second, do your research. Who are your competitors? What are they doing? What are they not doing? Why? They already did something, so you don't need to invent the wheel. Just can pick and see what's been done already. For some great ideas, you sometimes just need to look out. Research the audience, understand who they are, understand what they are doing, where they are going for uh, their information, the things that you are doing, where would you reach them. Research yourself, understand what's your communication style, if it is not clear yet. What is your strength? What's your weakness? How you are talking to people and how it is perceived. Everything now is tracked and you have so much resources to understand also what is working already for you and what you should stop. Once you have this clear understanding, start listing your ideas. What are the platforms you can now use? What are the formats you could objectively create? Maybe sometimes writing an article with a step-by-step -step guide is easier than making a video for you right now. And you can always film it afterwards. Uh, think of what would be the best format and strategy and platform and communication style to your audience, not what you want, or what your boss wants, because you are solving something here. You are solving a client's pain, client's need. This would be your objective and this would be your goal. And think about as a fourth <laughs> thing, think about the technical requirements you need to meet. Uh, for example, if you're a bigger company, maybe you need some more stuff for this project, or maybe you need uh, some equipment. If you are one person only, think still about what kind of tools you would want to use to implement the strategy and to actually follow through. And last thing, five, test Test, test, repeat, rinse and repeat. Do it as many times as you can. Get the idea about what works for you specifically. So here we are. This is my content strategy framework that I use in my job. And you can do now too. You will also receive a handout with these uh, key points. And you can ask the questions now in the chat. So, and I will do my best to answer all of them. Uh, some of the uh, other speakers at this great event are talking about notions and um, some of the concepts that I covered here uh, in brief. So check out the program, make sure that you are um, attending their workshops and classes and lectures. Thanks a lot for being part of this presentation. You can connect to me on uh, LinkedIn and Facebook, Instagram, or visit my website. And... Hope you have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.